Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I'm going to talk a little bit today about psychic amnesia and what it is. Psychic amnesia means uh, that you're in a higher vibrational state when you come for a reading. Okay, and I have actually had people come to me who forget their mother or father's names because where, when we're doing a reading, we raise vibration in the area we're doing a reading. Of course, if you're doing a true credible reading, that is, but this is for true evidential mediums. Uh, when you go to see a true medium, the elevation of the vibration is raised. It's raised. And so when people step into my center, they'll say, oh my God, this feels different. I feel such peace. I feel so comfortable here. And that's always my intention. You know, and I've talked to you in the past, sometimes you'll go to a so-called psychic and uh, behind where they sit, they'll have a giant angel with giant wings and a, a huge statue of Jesus, maybe seven feet tall or pictures all over, you know, so you feel like you need protection and you have protection there. And that's just not true. We don't, we don't need protection from anything on the other side because only good exists on the other side. Negativity exists on this side of the veil and it comes in the form of gossip, addictions, anything that's harmful to yourself or others, that's negativity. You know, and, and I've shared with you before, sometimes just a negative person can step in your life or, uh, or, or a friend who's going through a difficult time and, and, you know, they're sharing their story or they're upset, just kind of uh, connects to you and it, and it can bring you down. So when I do the prayer of God's love and protection, which I do every morning, I just envelop myself in a, in a white bubble of God's love and light. I see myself with a, a white bubble surrounding me, uh, and that's going to protect me from all the negativity that's all around me. And it's, again, it's my intention. It's my faith. That's what I do, and that's what I suggest uh, for many of you to do to protect you from that. But anyway, when they step um, um, psych, uh, off on my... Uh, off on that path again like I always go off the path so I'm gonna bring you back again to psychic amnesia okay so so when people come to the center and the readings begin and the energies start to step in our our vibration our soul vibration raises it raises to a higher level and when that happens we become uh, the people who come to me I'm not only in a trance like state um, but my trance like state is like I am right now I pray to meditate it before I I, I came to speak to you today I started uh, recording this I always pray and meditate before I do these things because I always want to keep my uh, my left brain uh, in a place where my my soul vibration is a little higher and um, I have a, a stronger connection and I always say Say, say the right things. I always feel that I am divinely guided whenever I do my readings or I educate or teach or, or share any of this information with you. So the same thing happens with the people who come. You know, they come with a, a need, a desire to connect with their loved one. So they're in a heightened sense. Uh, their vibration is a little higher. So, um, so they'll often forget things and, and psychic amnesia is strong and that's why when anybody comes to the center for a reading I always say to bring a pad and pen my assistants always tell them bring a pad and pen and if they don't come with one sometimes they'll bring a little pad you know and I'll go right into the cabinet which is behind me in the center and I'll pull out a regular size journal and I'll say here you know write the information down that little pad isn't going to be enough okay because um, you know so much information comes through and sometimes they can't understand the information, I'll say, write it down. Write everything down that spirit brings in through me. Write it down. And if there's a piece or two or three pieces of information they don't understand, I always say, I'm sure you'll figure it out before the end of the end of the reading. And 99.9% .9 of the time, you know, a piece of information that comes in, uh, it happened the other night. And they said, they showed me, um, they showed me uh, NYU Medical Center um, in New York City and they said NYU and they showed me the front of the building and again I'm a seer so they'll show me with my own eyes or in my mind's eye you know and I'm also clear audience I hear so I do this a lot in reading because that's the way it comes in the soul side and soul to soul communication so uh, so people will often say to me oh my loved one is behind you and I'll say no they're behind you I can see them but this is the way the information comes in. So that's something that I've just always done and they get used to me doing that. But anyway, Spirit showed me NYU and they showed me the front of the building. And I know NYU because I, I used to work out of NYU for, for quite a few years with a nonprofit that I ran. And um, they showed me NYU and, and the entrance. And I said, oh, they're showing me NYU. 
and and the person said i have no idea why they're showing you nyu you know i've lived in pennsylvania all my life and, and you know i have no understanding of why they're showing me nyu and as the reading went on all of a sudden she stopped and she said oh my god and i said what's wrong and she said i was just at nyu last week i went to visit a friend who was in in for testing she lost her mother and the name elizabeth which was the name that came in right after she also didn't understand and here it was the name of the the mother who had just passed into spirit i said well that's spirit's way of, of 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 letting you let your friend know that her mother's energy pulls in and her mother pulls around her so again you know we're never responsible we don't understand why the information comes in but certainly showing me nyu and bringing in the name in elizabeth uh which was the name of the mother of her friend who was a patient at nyu last week when she went to see her validate it for me and certainly for her that um you know that's why but psychic amnesia you know i have no idea what ny nyu is you know i lived in pennsylvania all my life but again that's where i always say to my students don't question the information that comes in don't add to it just bring it in and make sure they write the information down because you know this per person had psychic amnesia i had two sisters who came to me one time and i always share this story with my students when i when i teach them and talk to them about psychic amnesia and i kept saying the the spirit and she kept saying Irene 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 and and the, both sisters said I have no idea you know I don't have no idea who Irene was and all of a sudden you know about 10 minutes further into the reading the one sister slapped the other sister on the arm and said oh my god mommy's name is Irene you know and and you know we all laughed we had a good chuckle out, out of that one because this was the mother's name this is the person who was bringing in all the information and they couldn't validate the name so psychic amnesia is is real it exists and you know people are excited when they come for a reading and and they you know i always have them pray and and pull in their their loved ones that they want to connect with so just like my vibration is is a little higher so it are people when they come to me for a reading okay so just a little bit about psychic amnesia it is credible it is real and it's happened many many times and thankfully spirit always comes through god and spirit always come through and and help help them uh understand the information that does come in okay so just a little bit about psychic amnesia and again i hope you enjoy the rest of this very cold day but beautiful day and as always i leave you in god's love and light